This poem is called Acteon, and a number of the details come from Ovid's account of the event in his Metamorphosis. Acteon. High-burdened brow, the antlers that astound, arms that end now in two hardened feet, his nifty haunches, pointed ears, and fleet four-legged run. In the pool he saw a crowned stag's head and heard something that groaned when he tried to speak. Nor was it human sweat that steamed off him. He was like a beast in heat, as if he'd prowled and stalked until he found the grove, the grotto, and the bathing place of the goddess and her nymphs, as if he'd sought that virgin nook deliberately, as if his desires were hounds that had quickened pace on Diana's scent before his own back wrought her vengeance on him at bay beneath the leaf-lit woodland. There his branchy antlers caught when he faced the hounds that couldn't know him as they bayed and fought and tore mouthfuls of hide and flesh and blood out of what he was, while his companions stood, impatient for the kill, assessing wounds. <laughs>